Let's head over to Anaconda for some Class B hoops as the Copperheads are hosting Arlie in a doubleheader. We'll start in the fourth quarter of the boys game with an exciting finish in store. About five to play. Anaconda up three. Watch this ball movement swung around to an open Michael Gale. Nothing but net. Copperheads up 57-51. Warriors respond. Cody Tanner dribbles around until he finds some room to take the three. He connects, cuts the deficit to just three points late in the fourth. Arlie now looking to tie it, but a costly turnover leads to a fast break basket. Kyler Gochinor ends up forcing an Arlie timeout there. Then the, with the clock winding down, Warriors need a basket and tap it. Haynes dials this one up and hits from beyond the arc. Time not on Arlie's side though. Copperheads take this one, 78-72. We got the girls game up next and we get to show you a first look at the new court at Memorial Gym as a huge upgrade. Anaconda seems excited about it. First quarter, Logan Stetzner drives and dishes to Isabel Saltenberger for the first points of the game on the new court. On the next possession, Stetzner takes this one, stops, pops, and drains it at the foul line. 6-2, the Copperheads start a run. Scarlets get a little help on the jumper from Journey Crawford. That cuts the deficit to single digits with two minutes left in the quarter. But Anaconda just too much to handle in this one. Cora Kelly buries the long ball. They go up 12, and Anaconda completes the sweep of R. Lee with the 62-24 win in game number two.